decided to call it Began, with the golden E at the end. That golden E symbolizes how high hands and how important is E-Tech, our electric and hybrid technology for us. We thought that after 122 years of hard work, many ups and downs, we should be proud of our history. And even when we project the company into the future, as we do, we create, we invent, but we stay through to ourselves. That's the simple idea behind this simple decision. I remember 25 years ago, during my first time at uh, Renault, we launched the first generation of Megane. It was a huge success. It was not only one model, but a family of cars. A hatch, a sedan, an MPV called Scenic, an estate, a coupe, and a cabrio. It was a very revolutionary concept at that moment. We've sold 7 million units in over 40 countries since then. It is our third most sold nameplate so far. At about the same time, legendary leaders like Louis Schweitzer, Patrick Lequemont, Gérard Détourbé, just to name a few, launched the Dacia Logan, the most affordable combustion engine car in the world. With those two products, Renault was able to recover from a very deep crisis and started the process of internationalization that made this company, together with the Alliance, a true global player. A well-known saying goes, history is just a long repetition of events. We certainly hope it is true. Now, allow me a few minutes of, let's call it, upselling. I liked when uh, Lawrence van den Acker, who designed it, told me that the diamond shape and stripe were inspired from our beautiful 1972 logo designed by Vasarelli. This is another tribute to our history. Thanks to our brand new alliance platform that we call CMFEV, we broke the rules of size, use, design, and energy efficiency. From the outside, its large wheels and marked body height give it a dynamic and progressive proportions. We fully leverage the potential of pure electric platform, wheels on the corner, short bonnet. We reinvented the classical hatchback in an emotional way. Megane, with the E, is only 4.21 long. That's about 15 centimeters shorter than traditional hatchbacks, but it offers a similar roominess inside, similar to the one of the competitors. It is a masterpiece of packaging, better than any other competitor I have seen so far. So you look at the beauty of the 3D lighting, this is a new signature. They are just saying, I'm looking ahead. This is a technology that will make future Renaults recognizable from 100 meters. It's also a powerful and fun car to drive. Because at Renault, we believe electric cars should be sold on emotions. With 160 kilowatt, equivalent to about 220 horsepower, the engine is one of the most powerful in the Renault range. It's sporty, but it's also efficient. You will see impressive figures when we will announce the performance at the launch of the car. I promise you. It's 60 kilowatt battery. It's 11 centimeters high. That's the flattest there is in the market. It allowed us to give a sporty look and 
uh, achieve very competitive aerodynamics uh, performance, which, as you know, uh, are key uh, in electric cars to improve uh, uh, autonomy. It offers 450 kilometer range WLTP with potential to go higher in the future on the same uh, platform. With our fast charging mode, you can charge back 200 kilometers within 30 minutes. This is enough to get going on a long trip after a well-deserved coffee break. But, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, like with the first generation of Megan, Megan with this E at the end is just the beginning. A whole family of vehicles will be based on our new CMF EV platform. To date, more than 300 patents have been already filed on that car. The car looks very futuristic, but it is 95% of what the production car will look like. And you will see them soon. Our plants will start producing them here in France by the end of next year. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have started a few weeks ago a journey to recover from one of the hardest crises in our history. We call it internally the revolution. As much as Megane with the E, with the golden E at the end, reinvents Megane, Renault is reinventing Renault. And I believe today's event, it is a perfect kickoff for the ride to come. Now, let me invite on stage Denis Leveau. He will present you another car full of symbols. I like to think of it as the Logan of uh, electric cars. Denis, the stage is yours. Dacia Spring is not only the most affordable electric car in Europe, it is also a true car and a cool one too. Because at Dacia, we believe that any kind of mobility for any kind of need should be accessible for everyone. Pure electric mobility should not be a pricey option. With Dacia Spring, it will become a real alternative. We have injected the Dacia design secret sauce. With its SUV style, Dacia Spring features assertive, bold, sharp lines. Its Byton flex wheel, large wheel arches, and high ground clearance give it a sturdy, muscular look and feel. Dacia Spring Electric sparks energy. We've injected enjoyment. With its 100% electric motor and its lightweight, Dacia Springs offers driving pleasure and agility for any city use. 225 km autonomy, 295 km in a WLTP city cycle. This guarantees a full peace of mind and up to five days of use without even recharging. We offer multiple and simple charging solutions to ensure everyone an easy and joyful EV experience. Dacia Spring Electric sparks carefree city mobility. We have injected the Dacia robustness and simplicity. Dacia Spring is easy to use and easy to choose. With its range and easiness to charge, it is practical and functional for an everyday use. It is the go-to mobility solution for cities looking for an electric car sharing service. It is the go-to passenger car for families with its best-in-class roominess in the segment and a 300 liters trunk capacity. We are proud of our new car. So proud that we wanted as many people as soon as possible to enjoy it. So we will start with car sharing 
and have Dacia Spring available at the beginning of 2021. Electric car sharing is many cities' priority. It is a solution to polluted, congested, and crowded streets. And we know what we're talking about, because since 2017 in Madrid and then Paris, we have built a strong expertise in car sharing with Ziti. Ziti is a hit with over 380,000 users and 1,200 EV vehicles operating every day and going up. We have developed an adapted spring specifically to the needs of the European market with a car sharing version we're showing you today. But for private customer, be ready. Retail sales of Dacia Spring will start before summer and delivery will start by fall of 2021. On top of all this, we're happy to announce that we'll also be launching a cargo version with an 800 liter trunk and charging capacity of about 325 kilograms for an all electric last mile delivery. Once again, after Logan and Duster, with Dacia Spring, we redefine the essential in the territory of electric mobility. Thank you very much for joining us today. And all of you that followed us online, stay tuned. The event goes on on the Renault eways website. Thank you. <laughs>